welcome back to my channel. I'm Dula Say here with a quick video on terms you may hear frequently during your pregnancy. During pregnancy and childbirth, you're going to hear tons of terms. One of the ways I like to support clients is with informational support and helping them prepare for the journey and choices ahead. So let's get into these terms. Alrighty, so one of the first terms you may hear or see is LMP. And that stands for last menstrual period. And that's basically the first day of your last period. And that's basically used to work out how many weeks you are. All right, the second term I got is uterus. Okay, most of the time we hear people say, oh, you have a baby in your stomach. Actually, the baby's in the uterus, which means the womb. Alrighty, so I'm coming with uh, two more terms that are frequently used together. Uh, which is amniotic fluid and amniotic sac. Uh, amniotic fluid is the liquid that surrounds the baby that's in the uterus and the sac is what holds the baby. So your baby is inside the sac, inside your uterus. And of course, the waters or amniotic fluid is surrounding that. Another term that is commonly used is trimester. And that's a time span of three months during pregnancy. Alrighty, so another term for you is placenta which is the organ that connects to the wall of your uterus. Um, we covered that definition earlier in the video, so just rewind. Um, and what that does is that provides nourishment through the umbilical cord to the baby. Alrighty, so my next term is ultrasound, and I know that's a favorite for some, um, which is a scan of the uterus and your baby. I do want to make a small notation that sometimes ultrasounds are done vaginally, and it's called a vaginal ultrasound. Uh, just be mindful that it could be a little uncomfortable and slightly painful, uh, so just keep that nugget for you. Alrighty, so my next term is EDD, and that's expected date of delivery. Uh, and you'll see that a lot on documentation or forms that you may have to fill out. Um, and then simply uh, family and friends may ask, hey, what's the expected date of delivery of your baby? That is just a guesstimated date. Your baby comes when they wanna come. Alrighty, so my last term that I'm going to give you, I thought this is pretty informative to put. You may not necessarily hear this, but you may see this on uh, forms or documentation uh, from your provider, especially if you are getting uh, certain testings done. Uh, you may see that beside it, it may say NAD, which is nothing abnormal detected. Um, and that's just an abbreviated uh, acronym that they use. And you may see that. Um, so I hope that was pretty helpful. Alrighty, so there's so many other terms that you probably would hear in pregnancy. Um, I just wanted to cover a few. In my next video, I'm going to be covering uh, just a few terms you may hear in, uh, during labor. Uh, so please stay tuned. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me at Dulisay. Thank you for watching.